Randy Alden with Post Perspective from NAB 2015, and I have Jeff Stedman from Quantum here as my guest. And, uh, Hi, Randy. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. Day three. Day three. <laughs> I know. Um, so Quantum makes um, Stornext. Right now it's it's yeah. Stornext 5. So why don't you maybe talk about that and then talk about how that is sort how that there's like an ecosystem of products. Yeah. Uh, uh, so happy to give kind of a quick overview. You know, Quantum is providing really a full portfolio of storage products for media workflow. And Stornex is really the heart of that portfolio of products. And it ranges from high performance storage systems typically used for real time production activities. We have an object storage platform that allows you to extend that online environment. Very useful for things like transcoding, you know, nearline archive type of applications. We have tape libraries for long term preservation. And our most recent introduction was a cloud capability or a cloud service so that called QCloud Archive, which leverages public cloud infrastructure but brings it into the work workflow uh, based on Stornext managing the whole thing. Okay. So one of the unique things about a quantum approach, quantum storage approach, is you have these distinct systems that have different characteristics. Some are very performance oriented, some are very capacity and cost oriented, but you tie them all together with a single management layer called Stornext. And, and so Stornext is allowing your applications, you mentioned ecosystem, yeah. we have a, a very broad ecosystem of media management partners, creative tool partners, who are able to talk to Stornext and, and use Stornext as the file system, but that file system is extending across multiple tiers of storage. And, and so it, when you do that, when you build a tiered model, you really are able to get the, the best of both worlds. I get the best performance when I need it and the lowest cost when I need it in the same system, in the same environment, which is okay. generally impossible if you're just dealing with a one monolithic piece of storage. So um, you referenced the cloud before, so I know that's a big deal, but you're, you're also doing uh, your accessing private cloud and Yeah, so cloud. We, we support, uh, have different models for both public and private cloud deployments, depending on what customers would like. Um, okay. I mentioned we have an object storage platform we call Lattice. Object storage is technology that was originally born in the cloud, and it, it really is, is allows a customer to build their own private cloud. It's, it, it scales infinitely, it's, it's very low cost, but yeah, good performance. And, um, and with Stornext as the front end, it supports multiple protocols, whether you're using a, an S3-like REST interface or you want to just go through the standard file interface. So we have a number of customers, particularly those that have very active archives, meaning they want to pull data back and push it back and forth and reuse it and re-monetize. For that kind of a customer, a private cloud is really effective because it gives them that kind of instant access at a lower cost. But, um, but, and, and, and so they can use that act, that archive. Other customers, like you know, maybe a, maybe a small independent filmmaker who really just wants a place to archive content or protect their content. Mm -hmm. You know, using our QCloud archive allows them to leverage the you know the, the safety and the and the capability and scalability of Amazon on a completely pay-as-you-go model. Right? There's no upfront capex. There's no upfront setup charges. Within Stornex 5, we you it's a, it's literally three mouse clicks. You set up your you know your 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 policy, and Stornex will automatically move your content or copy your content to QCloud Archive, and you just pay for what you use. Right. And then you know if, again, if an independent filmmaker. Uh, has a bunch of content for a project that they're working on. They want to push a copy of that content to QCloud Archive so they have a, a backup, sure. just in case. And then they finish their project and they sh ship it off to the client. They can just delete what's in the cloud. And so it provides that sort of transient, um, um, you know, short-term overflow storage mm -hmm. when, it, when it, somebody needs it, as well as somebody can put content there and store it forever. I mean, it's not it'll go either way. I was at your press conference the other day, and uh, the UFC guys were there. Right. So that was, I mean, they, they're shooting, they're constantly shooting footage. That's right. And obviously need to back it up, and, and so maybe just quickly Perfect talk about Perfect example their of, of what I think of as a private cloud. So what, what the UFC was, has implemented is a combination of Stornex for production, 
and Lattice Object Store for all of that content that they want to keep readily accessible, but not in their not in their production system unless they need it. Right. So they move content back and forth, and actually they don't. Storenext does. So their applications call a file. Storenext, if it if it needs to, it will move the content to where it needs to be. For you. And they can access it easily. Fa easily and fast. Right. The the, the thing that they uh, mentioned that they you know was a real game changer for them was the fact that within just a, you know, a few seconds, content's ready to, ready to be used. So they're, they're not waiting and waiting for, for restores to come off of a tape library. They're getting instantaneous access to that content. That, that was the big deal for them. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So, um, and I also, uh, MTI is using your stuff as well. Yeah, MTI, uh, it's, it, it's, uh, it's again, both a Storenext environment, a, a production storage system, and a, a lattice system. Them. Um, so it's a, uh, but in that case, um, it, it's it's like a mini cloud, if you will. It's 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 providing sort of second tier storage to staged content, so they can optimize what they're doing in their perform in their high performance tier, uh, and yet still continue to have red, you know access to that content. So it's you know they do uh, they do a bunch of different types of work and different types of projects. So mm -hmm. so they sometimes you know they have to switch gears depending on the projects that they're working. On. Yeah. So, you know, being able to, to put that content somewhere while they work on something else, and then be able to quickly pull it back and you know restart is, is, is was important to them. Jeff, thank you so much. Yes, for always by. good I know to talk to you. And crazy busy show. It's a, it's a crazy show. It's been a great show for us, um, uh, having lots of great conversations with customers and, and prospects, and you know we're we're just trying to help people with their workflow and and you know our. You know, we're, it's, and I, and honestly, it's fun in my position because we're not, we're not a general purpose storage company and we're not trying to be. We're really focused on this market, yeah. on, on your readers, the, the projects and the types of work that, that they're doing. And, and, and so it creates some really interesting conversations. Very cool. Thank yeah. you so much. You bet. Thanks, right. Randy. Thank you. Yep. Randy Altman, Post Perspective.